Hey guys, how's it going? This is Davin with Davin D Doodles and thank you so much for joining me. I have a little bit of an impromptu surprise video for you because it actually arrived. I didn't know I needed this book until I saw someone doing a flip through on it on Facebook, I think. I don't remember who it was. It was just a random thing I saw and I decided I had to have it. I'll show you the image that actually made me buy this book. I pre-ordered it and it finally came yesterday. I know there's a thousand of these online, but this is my version because quite honestly, I've been having a really, really rough week and this is kind of like a little break in the clouds, a little bit of sunshine. So hopefully if you're having a rough week also, this will inspire you to take a look, maybe consider buying it for yourself if you have the money, or just take a moment to breathe and relax and look at some pretty pictures. So that said, I'm gonna try to stop talking. We're gonna do a flip through. Um, this is the book Circle of Life. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the illustrator's name. Um, Mel Pameni, and then the last name is way beyond me. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description to Amazon. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that. It's just where you can find it if you wanna actually purchase the book yourself. So I'm gonna zoom you in here. And hopefully that'll be okay. And we're gonna take some look at these really beautiful pictures. So we have the cover photo and we have our belongs to pages, which is actually really cool because I just noticed that they're perforated pages. That's gonna be like super helpful actually. I cannot wait because you guys know that I've started doing watercolor, I've started doing acrylics, and if I can tear these pages out of books, it is going to be awesome. So we got some pretty stuff. We've got a little introductory page here. Oh, look at the little wolves. They're way down there. You couldn't even see them. All right. So our first page here. It's kind of like almost like a little compass, but it's for the times of the season. I like that. And then over here, I, mm, I keep wanting to say tortuga. It's not a tortuga. It's not a turtle. It's a tortoise? Tortoise. Tortoise is the word I'm looking for. Um, this is gonna be so pretty for anybody that does this page. I can't wait to see them. I love turtles. My husband loves turtles. So this isn't the page that actually made me buy the book though. <clears throat> and just looking at it, I can already see like this must have taken her so much time to do all the tiny little details. It's very, it's almost zen doodly. Like you have fish in a river, like it's, it's a lot of detail in some places. It's a little bit intimidating at some points, but if you have the time, I think it'll be really beautiful. I'm gonna pack you out just a little bit. Hopefully we can see the whole thing now. Are these turkey vultures? <laughs> this is the only thing I can think of, like buzzards and turkey vultures. But again, you know, death is a part of the life cycle, so I guess it's the whole circular theme. Oh, we've got a big old double page spread here. Mountains. These would be so fun to do and paint. Oh my God. <laughs> Just like painting and make everything kind of like dusk or I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's been a long week. I can't talk. Look at the detail in this. Oh, it's a desert too. This speaks to me. I need to do this page. This is also a really neat little image. It's not a circle so much, I guess kind of, if you really want to get like, you know, whatever and philosophical about it. Oh, this is pretty. We have more, more swans. I'm assuming that's a swan. That or it's a goose, but I prefer the idea of a swan because I'm pretty sure they're a little nicer. I don't know what these are, but they're pretty. And then we have this dude over here. He's just kind of hanging out. He's not in a circle or anything. He's just there. You have little moths and butterflies. I love the look of these flowers. Oh, floral pages. Y'all know how I do about flowers. Oh, this is cool too. It's a compass with like all the different types of animals, like north, south, east and west. And like the animals they're most known for in those areas. So like, you know, the penguins, kangaroos. We got a ship in a ocean and I don't do oceans or boats or, or ships or anything. I've never even been on a cruise, I'm so scared of water. 
Ooh, we got another double page spread here. A nice big whale. Oh, it is orcas, actually. I know this is. Stop it, computer. So this is very detailed. This would take somebody a lot of time, but I think if you took your time and did it well, oh, this could really be beautiful. I love how they did the space here. That's really neat. And then you got the whales. And I don't know what it is about me and jellyfish, but I, I do like this image a lot. You got crab. <laughs> like the little crustaceans. That'd be kind of cute. Oh, and then of course you have the big one over here. I wonder why she chose to do circles. Does anybody know? You should let me know because I, I have no idea, but I'm really curious. Um, I see birds and like stingrays. And then... Oh god, not mariposas. They're uh, butterflies. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I can't speak English. I can't speak anything. Um, oh, this is pretty. Like the life cycle of the plant. I like that a lot. My friend actually took me to a sunflower festival. We had to get up at like four in the freaking morning to get there. I might color this for her just to poke a little fun, but also because it's really beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, bumblebees. Oh, this is really pretty. This could be trippy. I also like the hive over here. This is a nice one too. This is really cool. Not all bees are bad bees, you guys. As a gardener especially, I advocate for bees. And then we have other bugs, including, I guess, dragonflies? That's cool. We have bad bugs. <laughs> don't do caterpillars. I don't like caterpillars, but I guess they do turn into butterflies eventually. I guess not all caterpillars are bad, to be fair. It's just really busy. Like, some of these are so simple and some of them are just like, you can barely spot the bugs. <laughs> but I like it, it's pretty. Oh, you have the life cycle here. The cocoons as they evolve and eventually they come out. That could be a good painting. Nice big background. Okay, I don't like this page. I don't know if y'all can tell what this is, but this is a bunch of snakes. I don't like this page. This one bothers me. <laughs> I mean, it could be cool if you did them different colors. I always liked the um, pythons and stuff that were like white and yellowy. So that would be kind of cool, but ugh. I would never, never keep one as a pet. I don't do snakes. I don't care for them as animals. They can go away. Just, okay, they could just stay away from me. Let's put it that way. This is really cool. Every time I see this, I imagine just doing like each um, tier is like a different color or something like that. I don't know how that would actually look, but that's what I always imagined. And here's a dude fishing. He has a penguin. I don't know where he's supposed to actually be. I don't know, but that's really cool. That's really pretty. Lots of detail in that one too. You have cobras, snakes, just lots of detail, lots of, it's almost very, this one's like very Manda, Mondali, whatever. Um, it could be very pretty if you did it. <clears throat> oh, you got, a, you got a panda bear, he's cute. And again with the stinking snakes, but you've also got butterflies, so at least there's that. This is pretty cool. I like this a lot too, because you've got the the little scene and the fire and it's illuminating everything. This is a really trippy and really neat thing because planets, mountains, I hope you guys can see it. If not, I may have to do another version, but I, I'm afraid to zoom you in too far because then you won't see anything but like me pointing at stuff. You got squirrels. <laughs> oh, those things are trippy sometimes. They're funny. Then you got acorns, a world within an acorn. That's pretty neat. And I apologize if you hear my cat. She thinks she's like starving. <clears throat> this is another very busy picture. I can't really tell what's going on except for the fact that it's a forest. There's a lot of flowers and there's a random squirrel all the way down here. And a bird. 
it's kind of cool. When you get the busy ones, it's almost like a seek and find. Like, what am I missing here? Got a little stag or whatever they're called. That's pretty neat. I love the florals in this. That would be a lot of fun to color. You've got rabbits. I wonder why some of it's like just flowers and then you get like pumpkins and corn and carrots. Maybe they're eating your um, garden because that's very likely. This is the image that made me buy the book. <laughs> I saw this image and I had to buy it because the only thing that's going through my head when I look at it is Pokemon, that stupid legendary like little hedgehog green Pokemon. I, I look at this and I see that every time. So if I color this, it's not going to be a cute little hedgehog with flowers. It's going to be a Pokemon. You guys have been warned. This is also like a really stupid cute picture. I love this one too. But I like foxes, so. And I also really like how this is. Like you've got the stack of books and the world coming out of the book. That's pretty good. That, that speaks to me, you know. So going forward, we have weather. We have tornadoes, which that would be kind of fun to do, I think. I don't know, I'd wanna do a whole page on it, but just doing the clouds would be fun. I think it'd be the same thing with like the, um sand dunes over here. I think that would be pretty cool. But mine would probably be, be red and orange. <laughs> I don't know why, just because. Oh, we have another creature I don't care for very much. Um, I guess these would be little, I don't know if these are alligators or crocodiles. It don't really matter. They're both bad. <laughs> They're both things that need to stay away from me. Um, but yeah, so we've got a couple of these. That's pretty interesting i guess it could be colored nicely i mean to be fair it's a pretty picture um chameleon is that what i'm thinking of it's not an iguana i think it's a chameleon and they've got the i keep thinking these are like monastera or like those house plants that have the holes in the leaves that's probably how i would color them oh we've got rhinoceros I love rhinos. I love rhinos and elephants. So this is a pretty cool picture. I don't know that I would color it, but it's very pretty. And they, so again, so much detail and time went into it. It would be kind of cool to practice doing like the reflection in the water though, because you would have to color it a little bit differently than the actual creature. You've got your drafts over here with lots of sunshine and all that cool stuff. So it's kind of like night and day. We've got more savannah. We've got lions with lots of trippy swirls. Good lord, this is making me dizzy to look at. We've also got my elephants. We've got the elephants here with lots of birds. I guess they're in water. Yeah, they're in water. Okay. We got a baby elephant. You guys, okay, you have to see. There is a baby elephant. I don't know. I. I I'm a sucker for elephants and I'm tired, so I apologize. <laughs> this is really cool. This is a page that I think I would like to color. I know it's like skull and like kind of dark and you know, all that stuff, but this would be really pretty if done well and done right. I don't know that I'm the person to do it, but it's very pretty. You've got a dream catcher with like the four waterfalls. I wonder if that's symbolic somehow, like the four waterfalls specifically, or if she just drew as many waterfalls as she could. We have windmills. And this doesn't look like the sun to me. This looks like a planet. Maybe it's just me. We also have like, oh goodness, like the paddle thingies. Hyd hydro, electric power type stuff. And <laughs> scooping up fish. That's kind of messed up, but okay. For those of you that like spiders or don't like spiders, you have been warned. I do like with the spiders that she's done them very thick and then she's added little hairs on the legs. That's pretty cool. So, and these guys are also not a huge, <clears throat> they're not very high on my list right now of good animals because they keep eating my ball peppers, but it is a very pretty picture. 
You've got birds kind of hidden in the florals. The florals are the shell. And you've got the little, little jerk of a snail. I just need to put down something so they don't get in my garden, but. Ooh, another double page spread. These would take so long. But this is another one that's got so many, like, they're not moths. Oh God, butterflies. You could just see all the butterflies. I would accidentally color over them and not even realize it, but it's very pretty. You got a pretty simple seashells page. I could probably do that today. Like I could probably decompress and de-stress to something like this and be okay. Then you have something a little bit busier, but not bad. This is actually pretty. I like this too. I I'm a pretty beachy person sometimes. You've got your dolphins or porpoise, whichever they are, playing in the waves. And you've got your shark fins. Shark fins down here, you guys. Yeah, that's what those are. Those are shark fins, they ain't dolphins. And then you've got um, whatever this is, some sort of shell. And it's got all kinds of sea creatures in here. Is that a walrus? I think this is a walrus. Is that a walrus? I definitely see sharks. And for those of you that don't know, I'm scared of sharks too. If it can hurt me, bite me, or kill me, I'm scared of it. Seahorses. That's very pretty. This is this is a pretty uh, turtle picture. This is an actual turtle. <laughs> it's a sea turtle. We have this in St. Augustine, and like you have to be really careful walking on the beach and stuff at certain times of the year. But this is this is really pretty. This is something I'll probably color and like give to my mom or maybe the lady that rents us the beach house every year. You've got another compass type picture over here. You've got an octopus that are actually apparently very smart. I didn't know that, but apparently they're quite smart. And more freaking sharks, you guys. What the? Why are we doing all these sharks? You got narwhals, I think is what they're called. And killer whales. And lots of jellyfish. And beta fish. Beta fish over here. That would be fun to do just because they have so many different colors and they're like so vibrant. We have... <gasps> There's baby ducks! Oh my god, can you guys see those? They're so cute! <laughs> I didn't know those were in this book. <laughs> That's cute. You got baby chicks. That, that doesn't thrill me as much as the baby ducks. But... You have this and you have the eggs. Oh, it's not a life cycle type thing. Okay. I get it. I get it. This is also pretty. You got the flamingos. Got more flower, mandalay type things. Okay. Oh, it's a hummingbird. I like birds. I like this hummingbird over here with all these flowers. That's really pretty. Then you also have the little songbirds. I don't know what type of bird this is actually supposed to be, so in my head it's a songbird. I don't know, maybe it's a cardinal or a blue jay, I don't know. Then you have parrots, I think. Maybe this is parrots, I don't know. I would color them as a parrot, but I don't like this page over here. This page is peacock and it just kind of it, it, it's good. It's not bad or anything. It just doesn't speak to me. I don't care for peacocks in general though, so that's probably why. <clears throat> this page I love. I love owls. So this page, they're very pretty. This is very nicely done because they're hard to kind of capture. Like the essence of. Lots of flowers. Hmm. Flowers and birds. Ooh, you guys, it's Duncan. <laughs> it's a double page spread of koi fish. Oh, where's little Duncan? Duncan's probably over here somewhere, just doing his thing. He's my little koi boy mermaid. I might have to do this page in honor of Duncan. 
So you've got more frogs, a little life cycle, the eggs, and all that cool stuff. That's cool. This is, I think, the cover picture, right? Yeah, this is the whole cover picture. Maybe this should be. This could be Duncan and Pooja when she gets turned into a mermaid. Spoiler alert for Mermaid 2021. Are those crystals? These are crystals. So I guess maybe they're in a cave looking out at the boat? I don't know. Volcanoes. I actually saw like a um a short video about the volcano in New Zealand that was open for tourism and it erupted when there were still tour groups on the island. That was extremely sad and that's what this reminds me of. And so we're gonna go on to the next picture before I get too sad. Ooh, these are pretty, okay. I like this. This I really like actually. I get kind of like inspired by space type stuff. So that would be pretty cool. Do lots of like purples and blues and maybe some pinks or greens. Ooh, turquoise in there for like a galaxy type thing. You got a peace sign the sun and the moon okay this is really cool all right another uh polar opposites type thing you've got the beach with the sun and then on this page we have like glaciers with seals and a polar bear and we've got the f like the snowflake snowflake and we have a tiny, tiny flower with the bumblebee. And I don't know what this is on my book, but whatever, it's fine. So that is everything in this beautiful book. I look forward to working out of it. I may have to invest in some clear gesso, but I hope that it's kind of chilled you out to look at some pretty pictures. I hope that maybe, you know, it'll help you consider whether or not you would like to purchase the book. And if you do, like I said, there's going to be a link to my Amazon, like where I found it on Amazon down below. It is not an affiliate link. It's just where you can find it if you want it. So I hope you were able to chill out, just hang out with me for a few minutes. And I hope your the rest of your week is actually a good one because I certainly hope mine is too. <laughs> so with that said, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope to have something new for you this weekend. So stick around and I will see you then.